Hello everyone, this is Crystal Mage Knight Offer. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3, the Ashen Cell Sword Play Slash Walkthrough. Last time we met Yuria Vlador, a friend of Yol's. Found out that we're this Lord of Hollows, and that Yuria will be our assistant. Assistant, let's go with that. We also explored a good part of the great Road of Sacrifices. It's just Road of Sacrifices, so that would be great about it. Also, off screen, we killed a crab of well, the crab, and we got the great swap ring, which is the ring you start out with as a pyromancer. It's your first damage boosting ring. You have to have, in this game, you have to have two. I believe in Dark Souls 2, you didn't have any damage boost rings because you didn't really need them. Oh, also, I got killed by a. Uh, Watchdog of Farron! But, we're fine. We're totally fine. Now, we're gonna kill the Crystal Sage in this episode. <sighs> I at least managed to back up the episode before, or uh, after the crab, so that way we don't have to go back and kill the crab again. Alright, Dead Hollow, I'll just continue on the path like normal. There's gonna be at least several more Dead Hollows. Also, before we face the Crystal Sage, there'll be two annoying Caster Hollows. And yes, I mean annoying. Ow! I, I hate them. Oh well. Just murder everything in sight. Ow! Oh, fuck! Shit! Yeah, that was annoying. But... We're here. Now, I will give some tips. First, have lightning resin, lightning pine resin, to fight this boss. We don't, because we've messed up and used both our lightning pine resins, and I don't believe we're going to get them until later, like Baron Keep later, which isn't much later, considering. It's probably, like, next episode, if not the episode after that, in terms of getting the lightning pine resins. Could be wrong. But we're going to use charcoal pine resin, and... First thing we're gonna do, left button slash. Now, it disappears after enough time. So, yeah, most of your time is gonna be spent wandering around this whole battlefield. Now, phase two, it will do Shalko Jutsu, and you're gonna have to find the one with the purple orb. And we did! Oh, holy shit! And there was no freeze! By freeze, I mean, during the first attempt, the game fucking froze. Well, not froze to the point of, oh, it closes out and shit? No. It just froze and went back up like nothing happened. As you know, that kind of freeze, like, shit stops moving, but your sounds like, gig, 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 gig. That shit. Freeze were going good, it's just, shit happened. And, well, we just murdered Crystal Sage like it was nothing. Now, as I was saying before, phase two is basically whack a mole. Basically, you're whacking every mole until you find the one with the purple orb. That one won't disappear after one hit. We just have to be right next to it. Like, right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Alright. I feel much better. It didn't take much time or effort to get to that. Agonizing. Well, not agonizing. Annoying fight. Actually, shit wasn't even annoying this time. It it, it does become annoying because all the clothes can just spam you to death with their spells. But 
Oh, good. We can talk to Hawkwood now. After being Ivern or Curse Ride Greatwood or the Crystal Sage, we get heavy stone from Hawkwood. No, we do not get anything extra for being both those bosses than talking to Hawkwood. So let's get our heavy stone. You haven't given up yet. Then you're a brasher lad than I thought. You can make better use of this. I don't need it. Not now I've flown the coop. <laughs> <laughs> the Undead Legion of Farron is a caravan of undead, sworn by wolf's blood to contain the Abyss. The Legion will bury a kingdom at the first sign of exposure. Joyous bunch, really. Gaining admission to the Legion is a matter of some ceremony. Inside their keep, snuffing out the flames of three altars, opens the door to the wolf blood. Even a cursed undead want to believe they're special, it seems. I pity the sorry souls. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, he just told us how to get through Farron Keep. And a mission to the Abyss Watchers, the first Lord of Cinder fight that everyone will face. They don't really give you a choice on who you face first. It's always the Abyss Watchers, but they do give you a choice for who you face second and third, kind of. The fourth one, the fourth one, yeah, no choice around that, but. Gaining it, Evi. <laughs> so, basically, Abyss Watchers are genocidal assholes. I mean, I get why. Considering the Abyss, is, well, if you play Dark Souls 1 DLC, the Abyss is full of all sorts of messed up creatures and shit. And you saw what happened to the humans of Ulusil there. But if you play Dark Souls 1 Artorias in, Artorias in the Abyss DLC. But even then, basically Abyss Watchers, really, really genocidal assholes for the sake of putting the Abyss down. And we can pretty much guess since this is Dark Souls what happened to them. Hawkwood is a deserter. A oh, bit of trivia, if you attack him before he leaves, because after you beat the Abyss Watchers, he will leave this area. He has a Bastard Sword and a regular shield. The Abyss Watchers have the Fair Greatsword, which is the Greatsword itself, the, well, the Ultra Greatsword weapon and the knife. But, enough about that, let's talk to Ludlith. Uh -huh. And transpose our Soul of the Crystal Sage. Now, this is useful in terms of item farming. This it increases your item discovery rate while out. This is for sorcerers, well, for the sor mastery and sorcery achievement. Also, since this says twins, we're basically going to be fighting the Crystal Sage again as a mini boss later. How later? End of the game, basically. But, enough about that. Let's see. Okay, we got nothing else. Let's just level Welcome up. Us. Very then hey. There we go. Farewell, Ashen Me. Now, as we get to 27 Vigor for this character, we're gonna start pumping poison to decks. But after that, like, I say up to 40 decks. Start pumping more points into Vigor, a little bit more into Endurance. I forgot what exactly my idea for this character was. I had to probably look up a Mujin Monkey later, but... We're going to be melt shredding through things like no one's business by the time this game is done. I mean, we already are, but... Well, let's just end this here. This is Crystal Mage I'd offer. And in the next... For the next episode of Dark Souls 3, The Ashen Cell Sword, we will begin our exploration of Farron Keep, as well as clean up in Road of Sacrifices, but I'll see you all then. Crystal Beige Knight Arthur, signing out. I am very bad at endings. <laughs>